The loving words being read coast to coast tonight. It can be the most difficult task a loved one faces, writing an obituary. Tonight, the Mississippi daughter who remembered her father, our person of the week. These are the home movies taken by a loving father from Mississippi. Two daughters, this is his oldest, Amanda. Through the years, he would document their childhood, their birthdays, and he would push them to great heights. My dad was crazy, irreverent, a character, but he was, he was there. And um, every kid should have a dad who's there. And so last week, when she learned from her mother that her dad, Harry, likely had just a few days left, she drove from Texas back home to Mississippi, filling this notebook with memories that would become his obituary. And she read it to us. Harry Weathersby Stamps, ladies man, foodie, natty dresser, an accomplished traveler, died on Saturday, March 9th, 2013. Harry was locally sourcing his food years before chefs in California started using cilantro and arugula, both of which he hated. For his signature bacon and tomato sandwich, he procured 100% all-white bunny bread from Georgia and Tennessee's Benton Bacon from his Bacon of the Month subscription. The women in his life were numerous. He particularly fancied smart women. He loved his mom, Wilma Hartsog. He married his main squeeze, Ann Moore, a home economics teacher with whom they had two girls. He taught them to fish, to select a quality hammer. He took great pride in stocking their toolboxes. One of his regrets was not seeing his girl, Hillary Clinton, elected president. Harry took fashion cues from no one. His signature everyday look was all his. A plain pocketed t-shirt designed by the fashion house Fruit of the Loom. Harry traveled extensively. He only stayed in the finest quality AAA rated campgrounds. Many years later, he purchased a used pop-up camper for his family to travel in style, which spoiled his daughters for life. And she also took note of the day on which he died. He particularly hated daylight saving time, which he referred to as the devil's time. It's not lost on his family that he died the very day that he would have had to spring his clock forward. Harry wanted everyone to get back on the Lord's time. I feel like I've met Harry. <laughs> she showed me the toolbox he so proudly helped her stock as a girl. So if you don't know how to select a quality hammer, I will show you. Teaching us a lesson too. To turn it upside down and make sure it balances. Harry's smiling. Yeah, he would be really proud of that. And while some call it the best Obed ever, for you, he was just... He's the best dad I could have ever hoped for. And so we choose Amanda Lewis and all of the daughters and sons who face that bittersweet task of remembering their parents.